it's me TR and it is another beautiful Wednesday welcome to another episode of art sweet tea and me and today I actually have a guest Sarah and I thought that I record this session with Sarah uh, she is here as my mentee for the day um, her mother had this amazing idea to have her sit with three different adults, professionals in areas that Sarah is interested in. So she chose me yay, as her artist mentor for the day. So I thought it'd be fun for us to come on camera and share this with you because you know that I love sharing my life as an artist. So what better way to share something with you about the business portion than to have Sarah here who has a few questions for me and I'll answer those questions right here live online with you. Yay. <laughs> and if I didn't say it, did I say my name? Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> if I didn't, for those of you that don't, don't know me, it's T.R. Smith. All right. And we are just going to get started. We're going to wing it. We're going to see how this goes. I'm going to answer some of Sarah's questions and I might have a little bit more to share with you. We'll see. All right. All right, Sarah, you're on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So my first question is what made you choose art? Isn't that an awesome question? Great question. So here is the truth. I didn't choose art originally. As a kid, I did art all the time. And in my head, I was going to be an artist or a teacher. So I thought that I would be a teacher, but then I started hearing all the stories of how teachers don't make any money and I started to also feel a little bit, um, I want to say like I didn't want to teach kids. <laughs> Sorry. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. <laughs> so um, I chose a different career, actually, originally. I went to school originally for accounting. Then I switched to marketing. And then I graduated, got a job, managed and managing made me nuts. <laughs> and since it made me nuts, I went back to my old love, which is art. So it was a long path to getting to art. And now my reason for choosing art is simply that it is my passion. It is my joy. It brings me happiness. It's very fulfilling for me as an individual and it's very fulfilling for me to give it back to others and to teach and share with others um, and to help them find their own artists within giving back to the world in such a significant way is important mm -hmm. so that's that's why I chose that that's why I chose that yes alright okay <laughs> got another question okay. about how did you really find your preferred medium like I know that I like pencils but how did you find that you like ink tins and paints and markers well for me honest it's just kind of playing just continuously playing with um, playing with a variety of things I love 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 ink tins <laughs> and I love acrylics. I love things that are permanent. So like I haven't found my love for watercolors yet. Um, and I really think that it is just simply playing, continuing to play, try different things, see what you like, see what you like creating, see the effects that you like getting. Um, I notice I love layering, which is why I like ink tints or ink and acrylics because you can layer a lot whereas of course with watercolor if you put more water on it or paint or whatever you reactivate it so that for me is not a medium that I choose but um, I just think the way that you find it is by playing trying everything trying different techniques different techniques techniques tools not techniques that's a new word y'all write that down <laughs> Um, so just play, 
play, have fun, and just see what you like and try lots of different things. Okay. Uh, am I allowed one more? Yes! <laughs> yes, she gets another. Yes! This one's a fun question. Um, if you could choose one art style to learn on top of your current one, what would it be? Okay, so I have fallen in love with this lately. <laughs> For those of you that know me, you've seen my art. You all know my art. I love making angels. Oh, my God. I love making angels. So the other thing that I've been thinking about lately, and, and for those of you that follow me online, you see me change. I do my splotch art. I do my angels. I'll do faces. I change it up all the time. But something I have not tried in a big way is paper clay dolls. Mm. I would love to make a paper clay angel. So I'm really thinking about it. Um, Jennifer Albin online teaches how to make paper clay dolls. And I think that I'll be enrolling in one of her courses soon because <laughs> I'd like to learn to make my own paper clay angels. So that's, that's, that's what I do. <laughs> So, um, I'm going to actually answer another question that Sarah probably forgot, um, because I saw some questions that she had from her mom earlier, and I thought this would be an excellent one to share with you guys. And that question was, do you remember? Probably. Um, how do you make a stable living off of art? That's it. <laughs> um, so it was the, the way that your mom phrased it to me was that can you make a living? Um, and I'm going to say yes. And do I make a living? Yes. Um, here's the thing. And I was saying this to you earlier today is that it's not always just art. So a lot of people who are creative want to spend their day just making art and somehow miraculously turn that art into their income, but they don't want to deal with social media. They don't want to deal with marketing. They don't want to deal with emailing. They don't want to deal with any business aspect of being an artist. And it's very, very important to me for myself, I can speak, um, that you have to know all of those aspects, that you have to be willing to learn business, to learn marketing, to learn social media, to learn um, different ways. The, the internet today, society today, provides a lot of ways for you to sell your art, whether you're selling your actual art, whether you're teaching art, whether you're doing a print-on-demand service. Um, their Etsy, you could sell through Etsy. There are numerous ways to make money with your art. I do all of those things. I spend a good portion of my time on business. I do spend time making art every day, but it's very important to me that I educate myself, that I learn, that I am able to get out there and be in front of people to uh, promote myself, to grow a community of people around my art. So yes, you can make a living. It is not easy. Working for yourself is probably more work. I'm not gonna say probably. It is more work than working for someone else. You are the go-to, you are the everything. So if you are willing to put your heart and soul into your art and into building your business and learning the business aspects of it and growing in that way um, and being about the business of your art, yes, absolutely, you can do it. It's not easy. It takes work. It takes knowledge and it takes skill and passion and heart and time, <laughs> time. And lots of people don't want to give time. It probably takes longer amount of time than people want to give. People usually give up before they get to that pot of gold or to their success or to their happiness with it. If you stick with it, you're consistent, you're passionate, and you're willing to learn the various aspects, I absolutely think that people can make a living with their art. <laughs> All right, so there. You good? Yeah. <laughs> 
So Sarah and I are going to be spending a couple of hours together. We're going to talk a lot more about art off camera. Um, and I'm going to show her what my typical day is like. I hope that you learned something and that inspired you and that gave you some information. If you have any questions that you want me to answer on one of my vlogs, please feel free to leave that. Uh, leave a comment below and I will do my best to get you an answer. All right, thanks so much for joining us. But before we go, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? I want to show you some of oh. Sarah's art. <laughs> she brought her sketchbook. She's amazing. I'll show you a black and white. Yay! We gotta let you see her face too. <laughs> and oh, look at this one. Isn't that awesome? Oh my God, she is amazing. <laughs> so she's always drawing and sketching in her book. I love it, I love it. She comes, her and her mother come and hang out with me every year at my crop. I do this a crop that is actually for crafters where they come and they make and work on their own scrapbooks, cards, or art journals, or planners, or whatever they want, and they come and hang out with me. So we've been knowing each other for a while, and I'm absolutely positively flattered that she chose me as one of her mentors when they first told me it got me all teary-eyed. So um, it's been fun. Thanks. I will see you on the next one. All right, Sarah. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>